Hey guys, why are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com, but more specifically, DDFranco.com slash ask. That is where you can ask your question, and just maybe I'll answer it in a video such as this. So getting to today's question, which comes from Josh Borhe. I apologize if I just butchered your last name, Josh. But anyway, Josh says, hey David, I know you do a lot of video work for people. How do you convert VHS to DVD for clients, equipment, software, etc.? By the way, I should specify, the actual title says, what is the best software and equipment to do VHS to DVD on a Mac? This is an excellent question, and honestly, this is one of my more favorite questions because I get a lot of questions saying, David, what is your favorite app? What is your favorite software for Mac? And those are good questions, but I'd rather have more unique and more specific questions such as this. But yes, keep the questions coming, I really appreciate it. So Josh, to answer your question, I am going to point you over to a software called Roxio Easy VHS to DVD. It retails for $69.99. I do indeed own it. It's right here. Now keep in mind, apparently they just released a new version, uh, version 3, which I have not used, so I can't vouch for how good it is. But I imagine it only improves on the version I already have, which I really like very much. So with the software, it comes with, obviously, hardware to convert the video. A little USB dongle right there. Yes, I said dongle, I've always liked that. You got mini USB on one side and regular USB on the other. You just plug in the video adapter, if I can get it the right way. And as you can see on the end here, we have connections for S-Video, composite video, as well as RCA audio. So you literally just plug this side into your Mac, plug this side into your output cables from your VCR, put the VHS in, and launch the software and you are good to go. Now I gotta be honest, the software included with Easy VHS to DVD, at least the software that I'm using, again, this is an out of date version, it's okay for what it is. Unfortunately, you cannot set your destination disk, so by default, and I can't change this, um, every time I import a VHS to my hard drive, it automatically goes to my solid state drive. I shouldn't even say hard drive because it's a solid state. And as you know, my solid state is only 64 gigabytes, and I only have like 10 or 12 gigabytes of space to work with by default. So that's the only major downside about the software. However, I, I, again, I cannot vouch for this, but I imagine version 3 improves upon this, hopefully. And if not, it's not a huge deal because the average person doesn't have a solid state drive. And if you do, then I gotta suggest looking elsewhere. But if you do use a hard drive and you have plenty of space to work with, then definitely check out this software. The link is right below to this product for Amazon. And I hope this helps you out, Josh. Again, it's a great solution. It's not perfect, but it's good enough to get you by. And I gotta say, I'm overall very happy with it. And if you guys wanna see an example of the VHSs that I've imported and converted, just go to my channel, search TC1 Flashback, and you'll see a handful of videos back from the mid 90s. And speaking of that, stay tuned for many more TC1 flashback videos. I literally have about 10 tapes sitting under my desk right now waiting to be converted. I can't promise I'm going to do all of them, but at least expect five or so. Thank you again, Josh. Excellent question, guys. Keep them coming. I really like questions like that that get to more specific topics. And basically, I like covering topics that I know people will be Googling. So when somebody Googles how to convert VHS to DVD on a Mac, this video is guaranteed to pop up on page one or two, which is always awesome. And of course, as always, this is indeed an Ask a Question video, so I'd like to give you guys a free audiobook in return for your support and, well, just for watching. Just go to audibletrial.com slash thecreativeone and search inside Apple how America's most inspired and secretive company really works. Now, honestly, I have not read or listened to this book yet, but I have heard excellent things. Apparently, this is the next big book right now, um, you know, besides the Steve Jobs biography, of course. That's the biggest Apple book right now, and I believe that book broke records. But Inside Apple, as far as I can tell, is an awesome read, and I'm definitely, well, read, I should say, listen to it. I will definitely be listening to it very soon. All of your links are right below for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to submit your own questions over at ddfrago.com slash ask, and I'll see you next time.